All right. Part four. Releases part, part three. Topic, topic four, part three. It's my turn. Uh, we're starting off with Paul Kim's digital single, Try, um, which is a solid indie ballad. Um, I thought it was really good. And then Taeyeon comes out of nowhere for no reason unknown <laughs> and makes it even better. So yep. it, I think it was a good good indie ballad even without her. Um, and then she just came in and improved it. So yeah. check it out if you like ballads. I think they did. They did a variety show together, like the one about like busking okay. in like Europe. So, because remember when yeah. uh, Taeyeon was like yeah, all those in like Netherlands Germany. and stuff. Yeah, it mm-hmm. was for a variety show. It was for for some TV show. So they were on it together. I'm guessing this is just a, a favor or whatever. So, mm. yeah, mm. more Taeyeon, more Paul Kim. Um, some <laughs> someone from Reddit is <laughs> Paul Paul Kim flexing with Taeyeon suddenly singing in the last chorus. <laughs> Without telling anyone. <laughs> yeah, that is the that is the uh, non subtle list of flexes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Pentagon with their mini album Summer Some R uh, with the single Humph. Um, Humph. And it, Humph. <laughs> it's 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 more shine. It's it's fine. It's Pentagon. It's shine uh, style Pentagon. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't mind cutesy style Pentagon. Or just like fun Pentagon because it, it, the other songs are really fun and they're essentially a meme at this point with like like their dances especially like da, their da, dances da, are incredible. Da, da. Um, it's just I don't know. Uh, in terms of music, I just didn't. I, I don't think I enjoyed it as much as I liked Shine or Shalala. So mm. it's all right. Mm. Yep. Cooper said Usock Center, Usock Center, Usock Center. So apparently right. he was happy about that. Uh, next, we have Ravi, Cold Bay, and Zydo with the digital single Fashionable, produced by GXXD. And our only notes are this, are Cooper saying Ravi is the worst part of his own label's debut song. So yeah, he, um, Ravi made a <laughs> yes, label accurate. called Groovelin. G-R-O-O-V-L-1-N. I don't know how that's pronounced, unfortunately. Groovin. Um, Groovin, groove, groove but there's an L, in. but there's there's an L. Groove Lawanen, yeah, Groovelin, Groove Lawanen, Groove Lawanen. So yeah, yes. so he's he made like a sort of like because Ravi does a lot of his own mixtapes, a lot of his own like hip hop music, like very 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 different from like what Vix does. So um, mm-hmm. yeah, he sort of set up a label under him uh, and hired these two artists, and I guess Cooper likes them better than Ravi's own singing, which is I don't know. <laughs> He's the only one that probably likes Ravi. Fan of <laughs> yeah. Ravi's solo yeah. stuff. So. It's so weird, I guess. But it's he definitely he has a unique never style. Very good. Uh, next, we have Red Sonnet with their song "My Hero." Unknown. It's a cover of the Foo Fighters song. <laughs> it's a cover of the Foo Fighters song. It's a cover of the Foo Fighters song. Um, it's a rock band with a female singer. Um, and she definitely sings like J Rock. Like it's, yeah. it definitely has a J Rock style. But then the screamo, random screamo comes in too. So, yep, <laughs> it's rock. It's, it's J Rock style rock. It's good. And I know, the English I, lyrics make no sense. Yeah, I didn't English even notice kind of there was cringy. English lyrics. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's not bad. It's just weird, I guess. But I don't. Know, I, for me, when I like this, when I listen to this type of um, like melodic hardcore type music I usually like a better balance between the clean vocals and the unclean vocals it seems like mm. this song was like 80% clean vocals 20% screaming like the, the screaming just kind of catches you off guard because you didn't expect it because most of the song is just singing anyway outside yeah. of like like the bridge part I don't know the, the, the guy that was screaming was pretty good he kind of reminds me of like Casey Calvert from Hawthorne Heights rest in peace mm. um yeah, so I, I don't know I just think if they had a better balance between the screaming and like the like the clean vocals yeah, it'd be pretty good. Yeah, I thought <laughs> I just kept laughing during the music video because I thought <laughs> they were like the guitarist was just trying so hard to be edgy. <laughs> like he's like, like they got like the catchy vocals, and then all of a sudden the screaming it like reminded me of like a day to remember or something because their choruses are really catchy, and then yeah. they just start s- screaming all of yep. a sudden. A day to remember and then, does that. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, he's also wearing like a Tokyo Ghoul mask <laughs> on stage. <laughs> Uh, he's just you excellent. gotta feel the aesthetic, man. It's like it's like it's like it's not really visual K, but I mean it's almost like visual K. <laughs> I just I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Uh, next we have Sori, uh, her digital single, I Am Not Alone. Uh, I guess I'll say Cooper's notes first since Jacob kind of bounced off of him. But Cooper yeah. said, sure, the production could be better, but with the MV, this is super powerful and beautiful. Yeah. So I thought the song was, was okay. Like, it was good. It was nothing special, though. But I agree with Cooper. I think the MV was, like, really well done. And I think it, the, as far as the overall package goes, I think the MV really props it up a lot. Because it had, yeah. like, these really cool, like, um like dance like formations and stuff with nice colors and and whatnot so mm-hmm. yeah i thought the music video was really well produced yep uh next we have stella jong's digital single yolo Yolo. Andrew and jacob want to talk about uh this might be one of, another favorite music video of the year candidate so like it, nothing too crazy in terms of music, but she shows, like, I'm guessing which is how she produced this song. And she's actually, though, there's videos of her doing this, like, live, just, like, on a live stream or something. Mm-hmm. She's using a sample pad to sort of, like, build up the background instrumentals using her voice, like, the dum 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 yeah. dum dum and, like, the claps and everything. I love when artists do that. Like, I've seen Ed Sheeran live, and whenever Ed Sheeran performs live, he doesn't use a backing track. He, he just does, oh. he just does, like five different like he builds it up pe- yeah he builds it up with like loop pedals and everything so um yeah i i just have such an appreciation for that because i've i've seen i've tried doing it I, it's so hard just trying to get in the timing and everything and just sort of building a nice melody this sort of way yeah i mean i've always been a fan of stella jung um for a while she had this like really cool like digging club soul song but yeah yeah this might be one of my favorite songs from her just i, I love this style of just sort of like indie music and just the way she built it up was incredible. Yeah. So for me, uh, I have less to say about the actual song, but I love the music video, like how she's actually showing how she's like mm-hmm. constructing the beat with the loop pad and, and everything. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite music videos of the year so far as well. I really like this. Also, it's such a happy song for something called YOLO. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like you think like obviously YOLO Drake. Like you'd think it'd be like some like super deep like I don't know rap song. But then she's like, "You only live once." There's like a smile on her face and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did throw me off a little bit. Uh, next we have Suman's mini album Ooh Da Da. This title track of the same name. Um, and yeah, it's just like really weird, cool indie music. Um, which it's all over the place in terms of styles, which is kind of, it seems like what she was going for, uh, with the the music video is laid out, um, which Andrew mentioned. Yeah. It's, it's not one song. She decided to do a really cool, unique idea in terms of, she basically made sort of a medley compilation of all the songs on the album as the music video. So there's a lot of different like movements and everything. So, um, We've mentioned Suman um, in the past, uh, sort of, um, yep. t- on, especially on releases. She has this really weird, like, experimental, um, glitchy type of sound, so... Yeah. Um, Sam was definitely the one that sort of brought this uh, album to our attention after not hearing about Suman for a while, but... Yeah, um, I'd say my favorite songs were uh, Meow and Love Dance, which was the... Meow was the second mm. one, and I think Love Dance was, like, I don't know, like, third or fourth or whatever, but... Yeah, I, I wish we heard more of this from Korean artists, just super experimental um, electronic music. So, Yeah, so um, I really like this. I, I need to check out the album still, but overall I really like the idea of like just a medley of tiny music videos that kind of, for each song, like strung together uh, on the album. Honestly, I hope she keeps doing this in the future because I think it's a really oh, cool idea. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I know Suman from uh, two songs in particular in the past, which is uh, Far Away, which she featured on with Jengi, who Jengi, I think is yeah. just a producer. Yeah, Jengi was like some European producer, and then Suman just did the vocals over yeah. it. That song is amazing. I still listen to it, and I believe Andrew does as well. Oh, yeah, I, I spam um, that song still. <laughs> yeah, and then also a song from back in 2017 that I found last year, which is uh, Mirrorball, which mm. I really like as well, which is a similar style to what she's still doing now, so... Yeah, I definitely need to, uh, I'm going to add her new song now, or her new uh, album, I mean, right now. Yeah, so definitely worth we'll listen listening to. Later. We, we haven't reviewed it, but yeah, definitely something worth listening to. And I'd probably put her there with like, I'd put Sue in with like, you know, Sifika, um, I don't know, uh, Neon Bunny in terms of like how much I like, yeah. um, like their experimental ex- electronic style. So if you like any of those, yeah. you'll definitely love Sue in. Yeah, some of her chill stuff reminded me of Asel. 
Mm-hmm. One other thing, I really love the the awesome. CG they had in the music video. Yeah, I mean that's that's yeah. par for the course with like experimental like visual type. Yeah, music, yeah, but, but still like this kind of stuff is just like yeah, cool. As it hell. really hits my hits my design. aesthetic. Yeah, uh, design you know. sensibilities. Sensibilities. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, next we have Sung Dom's digital single Rain, which Andrew wants to talk about. Uh, she is a like usually million markets like hip hop artist, but she's under million mm. market as an acoustic artist. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know how that happened, but anyway, I, I'm not complaining. I actually really like her voice. Just really, really sweet, really unique. Um, it, it other buys be like a boring, like regular, like happy go lucky song, but there's yeah, there. I'd say her voice is what makes it unique. There's an unexpected punchiness to it. Also, this yeah. was produced by Ear Attack, who does a lot of like idol music. Like he did "Never Ever" by Got Seven, "My Pace" by Stray Kids, and "Missing You" by Twice. And then makes this mm. song so definitely a huge variety there. So maybe yeah. that's why I like it. Your attack makes pretty good music. Yep. Uh, next we have Taemin, uh from Shiny with the is Japanese mini album Famous. Um, title track the same name. Um, yeah, Taemin, just like SM, I feel as a whole just is so good with the quality of their Japanese releases. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think this is no exception. Taemin just killing it like usual with his releases. Um, if you like Taman's music, you're gonna like this song. Um, I definitely did. I mean, this is peak Taman right here. Like, you have there's great choreography. It's super sexy, like dark, foreboding. Um, the bass yeah. line is incredible. Again, uh, yeah. like this Jap, this best Japanese single like category is just gonna be a bloodbath <laughs> between br- a song that's coming up later. Um, this uh, ah, there's just way too much. Um, I didn't realize that this was his third mini album already, and just like Japanese mini album, I guess. But yeah, he has a lot of Japanese music. I know, definitely, he should keep doing it. His pronunciation's really good. So, yeah, more Taman, please. Hmm. Uh, continuing with the SM Tay group, we have Taeyeon, uh with her OST for Hotel de Luna, uh, "All About You," uh, yep. and it's Taeyeon ballad, so it's top tier. Yep, with Yuna ballads as the best ballads. So, Hotel Del Luna is a yeah, it, it's uh, starring Ayu and you said and Kang Mina. Where? Yeah, well, Kang Mina is not star- starring, but she's in it. Oh my god, she I need to a, watch this then. <laughs> she is a character. <laughs> you kidding me? Ayu and Kang Mina, and no, the 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 amount of like talent that they have on this OST is insane because they have like oh, Haze, yeah, yeah. they have like Tencent, they have like a bit, pretty much uh, coming out with one. Like pretty like much this week. anyone that's famous in Korea is like is on this OST yeah. for for whatever reason, and it's funny because yep. it's just like some random show on like I don't know like JTBC or something like that. It's not on it's not like on a cable network. It's on a cable network, not on like a major like sort of uh, public network. It's TVN. So. It's TVN. So yeah, it's, it's it's cable. So I don't know how they're. TVN does a lot of does a lot of dramas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know where I they're think, getting all I this money Goblin from. I think Goblin was on TVN. Oh, that's true. But it, I don't think it's doing. I think, doing I think it was. Let me yeah. let me check for sure. On like I, I mm-hmm. check the shares. It's ten percent. Ten percent is pretty good in terms of like rating or just like viewership. But obviously with IU, that's yeah, freaking that's IU. But um, yeah, obviously Goblin the, was 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 uh, TVN, and I think yeah, so was all the Reply series as well. So. Oh, okay. So maybe I should watch yeah. it then. I, should, I mean, the premise is pretty interesting. It's so basically, IU is this manager of a hotel, and she's like stuck there for the next. She's stuck there for over a thousand years or something like that, and so and all the hotel residents are ghosts or like are they already dead? I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know how to yeah. explain other than that. But I'm surprised we haven't gotten like an IU song yet, considering IU's mm. the yeah. star of this, and she does yeah. a lot of ballads. So. I guess I'd be looking forward to that if anyway. I feel like it's weird, but like usually, even if the actor is a singer, they don't put out songs for those for their yeah. own. I feel like, like if they're that feels if, that's weird. If the though, actress is drums. from a group, though, sometimes their like members the group will, will do, do it. Yeah, yeah. will do uh, OSD. Like for example, like Yuna was in Love Rain, and I think T- Tiffany did one definitely, and I think someone mm-hmm. else did also. Yeah. So. Yep. Uh, and finally. Or Jacob, you went over this, right? Or do you have anything? Oh, yeah. I, all I said on here was just 
I'll never ever get tired of Teon Ballads. Oh, basically. Yeah, this is yeah. beautiful. <laughs> same same thing as me, basically. Uh, and finally, our final Tay SM artist, we have Tay Yong from NCT's station single, A Long Flight. Yeah, so this is Tay Yong's first solo venture. Um, I mean, we I, we all know he's talented at everything. I just, I mean, I guess I'm kind of surprised at how well he was able to handle him, like being on his own. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like he's he's definitely going to be one of the people that SM will try to build up a solo career for once NCT starts sort of maybe going by the wayside or once people start going to the military, that sort of thing. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, th- I thought it was pretty good. Um, produced by Royal Dive, who did um, Bet Bet by and uh, Love Paint by Newest, did uh, Teenager oh, by God Seven. Their so. best ballads. <laughs> so yeah, just a little, you definitely feel like a lot of like the future base influence in it. So yeah, really enjoyable. Definitely fits Taeyong's vibe. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot I had notes on this song. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I thought this was pretty good, especially for like a station release, because they tend to be pretty mild usually. Um, and I thought Taeyong's uh, rap was pretty strong in this also. Hmm. Cooper said, "Have listened to this two hundred plus times. I guess it's pretty good." Because <laughs> <laughs> so. for those that don't know, that's his. That's his ult. Ultimate. One of yeah, his ults. Yeah. That is Taeyong's one of his ults. His ult. Yeah. His king. Yeah. His king and his queen is his, Irene. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Next, we have Triss and their digital single, Rolly Rolly. The song the is The cover amazing. of the Good Day song. Two times this, fast. This song, I I don't know Rolly what drugs Rolly they were on when slowly. they were writing this song, but it must have been all of them <laughs> to come up with these <laughs> lyrics. And I quote, Rolly Rolly, take it slowly. I don't give a I damn. Give a damn. I'm, a sugar I'm a sugar king. Like, what does that mean? What the hell is a sugar king? It doesn't mean and, anything. And why don't you give a damn that you're a sugar king? Like, <laughs> and, and, Dude, and, I love that music video, too. Like, it's it's like just them playing and like these two random girls like singing start next to, or dancing <laughs> next yeah. to them in the bowling alley. So and, yo, weird. Please tell also, them. Wait, unrelated, wait. but this looks like a bowling alley that I used to go to in Seoul. I'm curious if it is that one. Probably. I mean, they film everything in Seoul. But yo, if you listen closely enough, this guy sounds like the Korean Weird Al. Like when they, I made that, I made that realization at the first time, just because he has the same intonation with like how he says is like, I don't give a damn. I'm a sugar king. It sounds like is that Weird Al? <laughs> so, oh yeah, no, this is a roller rink. <laughs> yeah. Bowling alley. Yeah. So yeah, weird. I can see it. Weird song, catchy, definitely. I love 80 synth, so I mean, I don't I know if this is the entire Sugar group. King. I should probably look up more of their music, but wow, this came out of nowhere. So good, yeah, this was ridiculous. <laughs> Anything else, Jacob? Uh, no, I just I just love the whole thing. Like, <laughs> I was getting into the instrumental, and then they just start saying, Rolly, <laughs> Rolly, <laughs> take it slowly. I don't give a damn, I'm a sugar king. <laughs> Yep. And I was like, it's, oh, this is what this is. Yes. <laughs> Please let us know what you think a Sugar King is in the comments below. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, next, uh, we have Twice with their Japanese single album Breakthrough, which is also like Happy Happy, I think, the other side of it, because um, it was a double single type thing. Uh, but we're just talking about Breakthrough. Um, and yeah, uh, I thought... Uh, my my comment was a pun intended. Twice really had a breakthrough with their Japanese music quality. Um, yeah, I thought the <laughs> song was really good. Most we've been pretty like mad on most of their Japanese singles. Obviously, BDZ was great. Um, BDZ and, uh, and uh, one more time. Yeah, one is, more time was really good. This is and I want you back. <laughs> well, uh, that doesn't count. That's that's a no. That's the best. Like, that's the best twice cheating. Japanese song. Also, it's an English song. <laughs> Um, but no, yeah, this the was cover awesome. Of the Jackson Five song, and then I liked Actually. how they kind of just took the fancy vibes for the styling and everything for the music video. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. continue that because it looks amazing. Not even just like the visuals; it feels like fancy and breakthrough were written in like the same like songwriting sort of like camp mm, or yeah. whatever. It, they feel very similar to each one another. So I'm actually surprised that Breakthrough was. Like, you think Breakthrough would be like a, a B side on like the Fancy album, Fancy You album? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I thought the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So for them to put this out as a Japanese single is incredible. I mean, 
This may, this might be one of my favorite. It, it, this probably this easily takes favorite uh, Japanese toy single might even mm. break through into like my top five twice. Like it's that I feel like it's that good. I mean, and I I, I'm, I get maybe I'm just sort of being over repentant for just how much I've shit on twice for like the past year or so. But again, I, I've for the longest time we were talking about like I maybe I just I just have to wait for their I just have to wait for the run double run. I have to wait for the run double run. I mean, fancy was kind of that. I think. Yeah, we we are getting so. the Run Devil Run now, and they're, and I guess we were right that they're yep. they're fucking blowing it away. I mean, this is yeah, like, this song has no right to be as good as it is from from the visual aspect of it. Like the 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 choreography is incredible. Like I'd love to mm. learn this choreo. It's so cool. It's like a lot of just yeah. like jazz step choreography, and you know, like Momo is like killing this choreography, especially. So she mm. loves a lot of the style. Mm. So just like. Really, twice is firing on all cylinders this year. Like they, I, they can do no wrong. Yeah. I think right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I really hope twice like keeps this momentum, like uh, with this style, just going forward and both like concept and music. And again, like uh, I said in my notes that I, I think taking steps towards more mature concepts would be really good for them, especially at their current stage. Like this is the time to start doing that now yeah as they're getting yep. older and helps so. differentiate them from itsy so yeah yeah that yep. too um because itsy's like the new like i don't know childish group yeah. if that makes youthful sense. i mean you know yeah, yeah. You, youthful that's that's a better word yeah so mm-hmm. also fancy was like is one of my favorite twice songs already so yeah it's my definitely. song of the year right now as of if i if you had to put a gun to my head and ask me what my favorite song of the year was it, it's i thought fancy. the next song was your song of the year <laughs> it's true. Um, no comment. Cooper said, yes, more, please. That's all he said about Breakthrough. So he wants more. Uh, next, we have Andrew's Song of the Year, uh, UHSN's debut, Yuck-Sung. Popsicle. Or, uh, sorry, what, what is it? It's, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's foreign girls. Yeah, so... <laughs> what was it? It's like transfer girls or it's, something. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Yushi. Foreign transfer That's right. Student. Yushi. Yuhak. That's what Yuhak. I was trying to see. Because it's Ushi and Yushi. Oh, yeah. Because Andrew was decided or said that he calls them Uju Sonia. I'm like, you don't call SNSD Sonia Shide. It's like, no, I call them Soshi. I was like, so it's so you well, need to call them Ush- well, Ushi. 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 Uso. Uso. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh so yeah, Uso, yeah, that's right. Dude, Ush- Uju Shide would be a cool name. Uju- cosmic Shide. generation. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cosmic generation. <laughs> yeah. Cosmic I'm surprised that it hasn't be been taken already. <laughs> I got mixed up with my with my uh acronyms. But um yeah, for popsicle, uh I still don't like the pop pop part at the beginning, but I do appreciate the song. Um and also props to how short of a time they had to learn it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, just like I two still weeks. love the yeah, uh, and I think they had like five days for the dance or whatever. Um, chorus is definitely my favorite part. I love the chorus, though. I mean, yeah, that's that's Maria like hard carrying the chorus, so no surprise. <laughs> um, I mean, I've already ranted and raved about the song, so not too much to yep. add other than, yeah, they're they're closing Half in a topic on th- about it. They're they're closing in on three million views. That's crazy. So. I mean, there's mm-hmm. some new Google. This isn't a. This isn't even a group. Like they, they like they're just all back home, like doing yeah. their own thing now, and yep. they have more views than some new Google groups. <laughs> so, also, it, it's sad though. They never got to perform this on M, M Countdown. Like you'd think, like it'd be like a no brainer. Yeah, like, even for, thing. Yeah, for a special stage, even. So, hey, maybe we yeah, have to. Yeah. Maybe we should see. We should get KCON. Uh, like cake on next year or something they, they should do it as a special stage or just have it appear or maybe i could have a panel about you hug sonio i can host it we invite An all the girls panel oh my yes. god yes i want to host the you hug sonio panel i mean i'll have to watch the show first but i mean like i me and nate go and attend the other panel across the hall <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> they want they, they might watch the show so they're, they're listening <laughs> So, yeah, I that's mean, true. Hey, they're listening. Be careful what you say, Jacob. I mean, hey, if they if they if there's any uh, way they can, um, I like the song. They, if there's any way they can make yeah, it out to like good. KCON New York or something like that, I'd love to have a panel with them. So, but that's for next year, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, next, what? Oh, oh, Jacob, maybe. it sounded like you said you were gonna go do something. Um, next, we have Vav with their summer special single. 
Uh, give me more <laughs> featuring De La Ghetto and playing skills, which are the worst, just worst names. Those are not good stage names. <laughs> um, and the only thing we have to say about that is Cooper, who said, who are these features? Get them away from me. <laughs> not get I, them away from Vav. Get them away from Cooper specifically. So. I think playing skills is a lot of... Um, they did um they did Lo Siento so yeah they oh yeah oh, yeah they, okay. they yeah so they're that's where that's I guess their thing now is they work with just Korean artists doing like the Latin um, songs um I was disappointed I thought when it said De La Ghetto I thought it was Timothy De La Ghetto the <laughs> you YouTuber, know, like, the yeah. YouTuber like he's on Wild and Out and everything I was like damn I, I I scrubbed through the entire music video I was like where's Timothy De La Ghetto it's a, they probably just literally like ripped his name. <laughs> yeah, it, like this this person made uh, like they like the the artist De La Ghetto made their stage name well well after Timothy De La Ghetto was already like famous. So yeah. mm-hmm. put some respect on Timmy De La Ghetto's name. Next, we have very very single album, very chill, and the song tag tag tag. Um. Obviously, I'm probably I'm like the only person that loves this group. Like me and Cooper are like the only people that care about very, very. But I think Sam doesn't Sam of, like them. I, was I like guess. Sam could like them. I mean, They're fun it, at KCon. Like this is it's it's more of what you expect from um, very, very just very. <laughs> uh, what should we call it? Like New Jack Swing, like upbeat, fun songs. Um, kind of scary music video for what like how like happy go lucky this song is. Like there's some parts towards the mm-hmm. end where it goes like. I don't know, like, uh, like, like really weird, like found footage horror movie style. And at the end, like one of the members stays in the dark. It's like why? Like, that's mm. the screenshot I put. Like the, all the members are walking off the stage, but them just stays in the, do- the dark. And then like they just hard cut to like a image of them in like a swimming pool with a blindfold on. I'm, I I don't understand. I think it's not even joking. It might be the same swimming pool from High High. Probably. Maybe. It's, em- it's empty, right? It's an empty, empty swimming pool. Yeah, there, it's been in other music videos. It's series, probably like so it's some probably abandoned is. swimming pool in Korea somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, so it must be. A, that's why it's popular. It's a stage, so. Yep. Uh, Cooper said, Spoopy times in summer very, very are already getting dragged for having the same sound, but like it's just all good, so shut up. Yeah, I mean, I'm usually I'm usually the biggest fan of this, but again, much like we said with Hayes, there's not really anyone doing this type of sound, so I, I guess it's fine for them to sort of do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Wusung from The Rose with his debut mini album Wolf and the single Face. Uh, so yeah, he's lead singer of The Rose doing his solo thing. I don't know why, honestly, because uh. I mean, I feel like The Rose kind of still needs to get like a bit more popularity, so I don't know if. Like yeah. taking time away to do a solo project is the best idea. Smart. Yeah. Definitely not when you have the lyrics like that. Um, I'll get into that. I mean, like th- this song specifically, just talking about face. Um, it's not bad. Like he def- his voice is really. It's fine. Yeah, he, he has a unique voice, and I think it works outside of just like a yeah. strictly rock environment. Uh, yeah. What's sort of causing issues is he has a B side entitled "Moon," where he has the line, I quote. Um, it says it goes. This is me quoting. This is not me saying it myself. Quote: Why are you so stupid? Why you believe him? A lot of Korean words. And then he says, "Are you retarded? Maybe just blinded." So yeah, probably not the best choice of yeah. words Dang. for B side. I mean, he he's a he's a Korean American, so he definitely yeah he's an, American too. So he, yeah, yeah. You, you can't like feign ignorance necessarily in terms of like the context of it. So. Oopsie, <laughs> I guess. Yes. Big and Cooper's oopsie. notes are go back to the rose, bitch. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just, it, it, like I said, they the rose is barely on the radar in Korea, so I feel like yeah, they they, yeah. Should, they should spend time building up the group as opposed to just splitting off and doing solo projects. Yeah. Uh, next we have Johnny, also from Rock Girls and Uju So Neo question mark. Uh, with her digital single from the Rock Girls thing, uh, Sweet Declaration. Um, and so this is more of a cute Tropical House song. Uh, it's more playful than Meichi's. Um, but she goes hard during the choreo, uh, during the chorus, which was I thought was really cool to see. Uh, another song I really liked. Obviously, they're both Tropical House songs, so I'm could, probably going to like them. But I was glad that they were good quality, because with Rocket Girls, it's been hit or miss. Yeah. 
Yep. And then Cooper, uh, echoing his notes from Mechis, he said, Johnny, if you see this, come back. Yes, please come so back. We yeah. want Sea Line back in Uju Sonia. Mm-hmm. Next, we have Yellow Bee's digital single DVD, which apparently stands for Difference versus Difference. Whatever Thank that you. Because I, I was trying to figure out what the hell this, uh, what the hell DVD stands for. <laughs> um, That's what it says. The album title is named. So, okay. Um, so <laughs> there. Entertainment company is called Addiction Entertainment. Probably not a good, <laughs> probably not a good name. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> probably not. No. That that being said, I, I was surprised how much I like this song. It's got that kind of like mm. funky, like horn vibe that kind of like Momoland has, but it's actually good. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. The instant I heard it, I was like, okay, they're just Momoland ripoff group. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not that bad. It's but fine. <laughs> Yeah. Also, also, they are doing a Fortnite dance in the, <laughs> yeah, like the, in the music like they video. Do, they do, they do the Fortnite dance, like the famous, like the where you're yeah, crossing the, your arms, and everything. <laughs> that thing. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that is. what else I'm is look new? In my, I'm too look old my for comment. this. Look at my comment. I put a YouTube I mean, video what too. else is new? Like doing like Momo Land ripoff songs with Fortnite dances. I feel like that's a that's an entire demographic. <laughs> that's an entire demographic on its own. So. Whatever. <laughs> yep. You still oh, play Fortnite like you just sent me a, a ten hour dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of Thanos okay. doing it. <laughs> of Thanos doing the dance, yeah. It's the first one I found. Hmm. Um Okay, and then we'll end it with uh, Andrew's favorite artist to end our releases with, because she is a Y name, so she usually ends it. Uh, we have Yukika's digital single, Cherry's Jubilees. Yeah, it bothers me how there's an S after Cherry. Yes. Or it, it's either or it's either, ch- it's either Cherry Jubilee, Cher- Cherry Jubilees. Or cherry Jubilees, yes. Not yeah. Cherry's Jubilees. It's Cherry's Jubiles. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, Yukika... Um, former uh, member of Idol Master uh, does a lot. Did uh, Neon, which is basically a copy of um, Plastic Love. It, Wait, uh, the she music was vid- in. She was in Idol Master Korea, right? Yep. Okay. She was in Idol Master Korea, and she did. She was a voice actor in Galgon <laughs> at one point. Not even joking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. reading. Well, we were talking about a different songs. I was reading the Wikipedia article. So she was in K on Galgon. She's, yeah, Dawn she would, she used to be a seiyu. Yeah, she used to be a voice what actress. The hell? Before and some becoming, game on the Wii. <laughs> yeah, her, her she has the wildest like trajectory going from oh, like a, like a, a voice actor. Yeah, she she went from a voice actor to like a, a K-pop idol now. But anyway, huh, so to the song Cherry's Jubilee, um, the first half of the music video is the acoustic version, which is really nice. I thought she's always had a pretty voice, and then it kicks into high gear with like the actual proper song, which is very much it's it's city pop again. So I mean, not much else to say mm. other than that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think she she needs to collaborate with Yoon Jung Shin. Speaking of another person with Y that does city pop, I feel like she she'd blow up instantly if she did a Yoon Jung Shin collaboration. <gasps> she was no, she was just a random person in, yeah, in, in what? Yeah, in no, K-On. Kitty Girl. Oh, Kitty I Girl like K-On. Yeah, no, Kitty she Grade. Was... I love. I don't know if you've ever seen or heard of Kitty Grade, but. I've heard of it, amazing. never watched it, but and I sh- watch it, but don't read up on it. I own it on DVD. That's how much I like that okay. show and how good it is. Like, but don't read anything about it because it's got some crazy twists that like oh, okay. you don't want right. spoiled. But also, the first eight episodes are like a little slow. But it, the I second mean, so two Steins thirds Gate. of the yeah, it's like the, the first because it's, it's what was it called? It's split <laughs> the- up. It's split up into like three parts basically and like the first part the first third is like just kind of set up and like a little slow and then it really gets going and it's really good. Mm-hmm. But she was in the sequel but just as a random supporting Yeah, side it's funny. Episode. It's crazy how cr- um like random her like say you like act credits are but I'm actually yeah, I'm, uh, I I'm happy that she's at least doing or getting popular in Korea cuz yeah, it, it seemed like she was she wasn't doing that well over in Japan so yeah she's definitely earned a fan in me um Rob is one of the highest upvoted comment highest liked comments on this music video just as a side note of course. so yeah I mean, oh she was also in a Sergeant Frog movie <laughs> yo Sergeant Kenner what <laughs> yeah Oh my god, she's it's amazing. She, that is that is stand worthy material. She does city pop music. She's an she was an anime. Oh, oh, she was, she was in Gal Gun. Emo as a maid. 
Yeah, she was in Ode Emo. Yeah, I tried to. I I I rewatched Ode Emo trying to look for her voice. I could not find it. So, <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, well. That is she. She's my bias. My oh she. In I, Idol I, Master I, Korea. <laughs> I, I I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But yeah, I've I've been a huge fan of her music, and I hopefully she continues to blow up with this city pop. Keep it mm. alive. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's it for, for that's topic all, folks. four. That's, that's all, folks. It's all good. Two yeah, and a half maybe, hour maybe episode. I mean, yeah, that's pretty yep. normal for releases, but I, I thought it was yeah, gonna go yeah. longer. So I'm surprised at how fast we went through sixty songs, which is like twice our normal count. Yeah, yeah. We had a lot of like really hilarious garbage this yeah, week. Yeah, so. I know. I, that's why I love doing this. We just need to find more of the hilarious garbage because today we need we we're exposed to the hilarious garbage, so we need to make other people suffer and listen to the hilarious garbage as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't give a damn. I'm a sugar cake. God. <laughs> Jacob, take us out. out, Jacob. All right. Well, I go uh, thanks. For, thanks for listening. Uh, if you liked our stuff and you're new, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or to uh, whatever podcast service you use. Um, leave a comment. Uh, like again, if you're on YouTube, uh, ring the bell. Uh, join Discord. It's Mook Show Lit. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I'm supposed to say. So, yeah. Yep. Thank you and good night. Stay rolly. Stay throbbingly Stay rolly. Stay rolly. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I'm a sugar king. It's such a funny thing with anxiety. Everyone deals with anxiety, but everyone <laughs> also is, like, not empathetic about it. Yeah, that's way. weird. A lot of people, have, like... Even though yeah, everyone experiences it, it's hard yep. to like, you know, kind of be there for someone when they have it. It's, it's such, it's a very fascinating.